Hi guys, today I'm going to be making tuna fish balls. Take a look at them. You will not believe how easy these are to make. Very simple, very tasty and spicy and delicious. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Alright guys, so before we get into all the stuff that you're going to need, you need to know that first of all, you're going to use three medium sized potatoes. So you want to wash them, peel them, dice them like into cubes, and then boil them as if making mashed potatoes. Alright guys, so first of all, you need to know that this recipe comes to me from my aunt Lita, my mom's other sister, and she finally contributed something to the show. So hi Lita, and hi Crystal, and hi Kayla, and hi Marcy, because I know you guys all watch. Those are Lita's, Lita's daughters. That's my cousin Effie's mom, by the way, guys. So what we're doing here is just kind of squishing the, pota the potatoes. They've already cooled down, and you want them to cool down because you're going to be handling them with your hands, right? So very simple. When I was younger, she used to always make this, and I never knew how simple it was to really make. I just always thought it was going to be a headache. So that's three medium-sized potatoes, boiled and mashed. And then, oh, any t um, tuna will do. I like the one that's in water and I drain the water off. So you want to go ahead and put the tuna in here and my aunt tells me that even if you're not a great lover of fish, because she's not really a great lover of fish, that you will still love this because it's just a hint of the fish that's going to be in it. So we want to get everything worked in with the potatoes. Kind of break up the tuna right here. And then the next thing we're going to do is crack an egg in there. I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants and I'm not sending you the ingredients, right? We're gonna need one can of tuna, three medium-sized potatoes, one egg, some salt, some pepper, and some paprika or some powdered ricotta. I'm gonna use a powdered ricotta. Put the egg in there. You don't need a whole lot of salt because the fish already has salt, but the potato doesn't have any, so you don't want it to be bland. So just a little bit of salt, a dusting, and a dusting of black pepper. And if you don't have this, you can definitely use paprika or paprika. In Belize, we call it paprika. So I think it might be a British American thing with the pronunciation. And you want to work this together and make it all mushy. And now we're going to roll them into balls. And then I'll show you what we do next. All right, so of course you make these any size you want them to be. I'm making some large, some medium. And I've got a skillet. We don't need a lot of oil, but we need the oil to be very, very, very hot. And you don't want to mess with these once they're cooking, okay? Because they're going to break apart on you. All right, so I think that's done. Let me get my hands cleaned up, and then we're going to move over to the stove. So I have our heat on medium, and I'm putting just a smidgen of olive oil in there. Let me turn it a little bit lower because this is my big burner. And we just want this to be very hot first before we start, all right? All right, so here we go. Yeah, that's sizzling. So I'm just using a big old spoon to just kind of drop them in there. And like I said, we don't have a whole lot. This is going to feed maybe two or three people, all right? So let me get them all in there. All right, so the Belize phrase of the day is no fast with it, okay? No fast with it means don't mess with it. Look at it. You don't want to mess with it when it's cooking. You want it to brown on all sides before you start turning it because if you mess with it, you're going to break it apart because they're so tender. You like your Belize phrase? No fast with it. By the time we're done with this show, guys, you guys are going to be speaking Creole. <laughs> all right, so this is what I've been doing, guys. Kind of like moving them so they can roll over and just get brown because nothing in this really needs to be cooked the fish you can eat it raw and the potatoes are cooked let me turn the fire off but that's what i've been doing to not mess around with them and i'm going to transport them onto a plate all right guys so here they are i got 12 of them and they're a decent size you know the longest time it took to make this was to boil the potatoes and mash them after we started mixing everything together and we put it in the skillet it was done in no time at all uh, normally I would eat these with white rice and Belizean stewed beans, 
but I don't have any of that prepared right now, so I'm going to serve this over like a garden salad. And just try to be healthy. Some tuna, some potato, right? And my garden salad. So I just kind of threw this together last minute for a little, you know, meal. This is like a lunch meal right here, I would think. But anyways, they look good. They look just like I remembered when she used to make them. And let me go ahead and taste a little piece. Mm-mm-mm. You know what? If you like hot stuff, you can add some hot sauce. This is good enough for me though. But you can add some hot sauce to this and you can add bell peppers. I don't normally cook with bell peppers because it gives me indigestion, so I don't bother with that. But you can put bell peppers. I put just a little bit of um, the potato, the tuna fish, and the spices. You can add some diced up onions. You can really start jazzing this up and making it your own, okay? Add other spices and other ingredients into this. But this is like the basic here and later on we're going to do more fancier ones in the future, okay, with other types of meats and stuff like that. So anyways, I want to thank my Aunt Lita for giving me this recipe. It came out just wonderful. And I want to thank you guys as always for watching the show because I know it takes a lot of time to watch these shows sometimes because I have a lot of YouTube shows that I watch too, but it takes a lot of time. And um, if you like the video, hit like below for me and share it with your friends and family. And until I see you guys again, take care. Please check out my review channel right here on YouTube, it's called Bear Pantry Talk. Also check out my vlog channel, it's called Babs Bear Talk.